This shows that John Proctor is truly an upright person. This quote sets the stage for the shift in character when he says God is dead at the end of Act 3. This quote also shows his innocence of witchcraft. Since John Proctor is motivated by his morals, his decision to defend Elizabeth and condemn Abigail creates his fate by the end of the play. This proves his motivation for justice, his rebuff towards the injustice of using the people's tax money for candlesticks instead of something more beneficial to the community. This shows John's sense of true slash honest justice, also represents his boldness to speak out against the church and court. Proctor gives up his good name, his status for his wife. This shows the sacrificial true love for Elizabeth and his remorse for his sins. These stage directions represent John's final choice to keep the purity of his name and die instead of telling a lie, which would cause him to live with a blackened name. Proctor cares more about his crops and farming more than going to church. He still says prayers and is a Christian man, but it is in his home, so his reputation to the church is low and he doesn't really care. This quote shows how he cares if the people would scorn and mock him if he were to be known as a witch. In the Crucible, John Proctor is motivated by his morals, which affects his decision to defend Elizabeth and condemn Abigail. This determines his death by the end of the play.